I'd like to take a moment and in introduce one of my colleagues from the main house, uh, Representative Russell. I was just telling her. The woman has more miles in her logbook than I would care to inspect. In my former role, I probably have to write her a citation for it. Uh, she's been out to Wisconsin to make sure Maine's voice was heard on the floor there. And, and I'll have to admit, there, there's no more forceful advocate to have on your side, so I'll, I'll yield the, the podium to her now. <laughs> Someone once told me, those who wish to be most subversive can least afford to look different. So I dress as 1950s as I can, but for today, I have a treat. Wait for it. I bought this for $5 years ago at a thrift store because it was ironic because I was not really someone that did this, but I thought you would appreciate If you had any idea, um, I just came from a rally regarding Wisconsin, and oh, it's been a long day, it's been a long week, and boy, am I glad to be in front of some friendly faces. Um, so I don't really know what to say, except uh, I'm sure you all have a lot of questions, and I know that we're going to wait until the end to have questions, but, you know, we had this, um, I, I think medical marijuana is absolutely critical for the folks who need it, um, but let's face it, it's time to legalize marijuana. What else can I say? So I put in a bill. I've been working with folks, um, and I've gotten some seriously good feedback on it, uh, and, and we've made some major changes. We're going to have a new draft out shortly. Uh, I talked to some folks about it, and in the in meantime, I've gotten some technical changes, some suggestions, and, you know, it's going to be another couple weeks, so be patient, uh, but we want to get it right. Um, there are a lot. <laughs> I kind of always thought that it'd be just like, oh, let's just flip the pen. Uh, not the, that way at all. There's a lot of details about this that we want to make sure that we get it absolutely right. We want to protect our children. And you know what I find fascinating is just how ubiquitous and how available marijuana is for folks who are um, ages 12 to 17. Um, and and we need, that's because we don't have any control over the market right now. Um, furthermore, you know, we have a huge budget crisis huge budget crisis and we have a market that is already existing we keep talking about you know how do we create jobs and how do we how do we bring money to the state well maybe let's just take a market that already exists and make it legal I mean, the key component to this is that we do need to regulate it. We need to make sure that people who are responsible growers are out there. We need to make sure that it's local people who are growing and that are earning an income. Let's look at industrial hemp. Let's make sure that our children are protected. Let's make sure that they are not seeing this just as medication, but that they understand that like alcohol, like tobacco, it is a drug, and it should be treated as a drug. It should not be considered something that, you know, that, they, uh, that they take lightly. We should make sure that our children know exactly what it is and that we take it seriously enough that we want to make sure that they have the opportunity to, to, to do it responsibly and that we limit their access to it until they're at an age where it's responsible and smart for them to be actually making a decision about consuming it. Um, so I don't know what else to say. Um, I, I'm sounding, my rally this morning was uh, a little better, but I've been driving from Wisconsin to Madison, from here to Madison and back, so you'll have to forgive me. I'm not usually this, uh, the highlights don't usually work as well. I'm not as blonde as this, but um, I am really tired, but I am so excited to see everybody here, and I hope that when the time comes that you all will come to the State House, that you will stand up for this, and you will let folks know that this is, you know, 
um, that this is not just your shaggy do people, that honest, hardworking people, you know, consume marijuana responsibly. They, that hardworking, honest, law-abiding citizens would like to see the revenue that comes in from this. Uh, the, the bill that I am introducing will tax it at a straight 7%, very much like if you walk in and order a cocktail at the bar down here, you're going to get charged 7%. It's the same thing. It's a sales tax. Um, folks who want to grow it on their own will be, a oh, I love you too, darling. It's one of my favorite fans in my district back in the back. Um, you know, if you want to grow it in your home, you're going to be able to do that up to a certain uh, uh, space. I think it's 75 square feet. So we're going to make it reasonable. We're going to make it rational. We are going to regulate it. We are going to tax it. And I'm sorry if you think it shouldn't be taxed. This is a small price for, to pay for not going to jail. Um, and we're going to make sure that we stop spending useless money on enforcement and start spending that money more responsibly and going after things like domestic violence yeah. and going after things that, that truly devastate communities. It is time to stop turning law-abiding citizens into criminals. It is time to start growing our economy. It is time to get back on our feet. It is time to stop demonizing one another and to stop thinking, oh, this person has more than this person. And it's time to start working together 